In 2019, the Duke of York stepped down from public life due to a scandal involving his friendship with Jeffrey Epstein. Before we continue, please like, comment and subscribe to stay updated with the latest information about the royal family. According to a royal biographer, the king has dashed Prince Andrew's reported hopes of a royal comeback. While Charles has sympathy for the Duke of York, he will never allow him to return to frontline duties, according to Finding Freedom co-author Omid Scobie. Mr Scobie wrote in his Yahoo News column, without the Queen's soft spot at his disposal, it was no secret that Andrew was her favourite child, the door is now shut tighter than ever for the prince. Though King Charles III sympathises with his brother, I'm told, the newly minted sovereign will never allow him to return to the family business. Mr Scobie's remarks follow previous reports that Andrew held intense talks with the late Queen, about a new position at Balmoral in August. He knows he let his mother down badly, a source told the son, but he hasn't been convicted of a crime. He wants to try to find a way back. He's hoping the Queen can sway Prince Charles and Prince William, who don't see a way back for him. He desired a few days alone with his mother to discuss his future. Andrew stepped down from public life in 2019, after a disastrous Newsnight interview about his relationship with billionaire Free Epstein. He was stripped of his HRH style and military roles earlier this year, after agreeing to pay millions to settle a civil assault case brought against him in the United States by Virginia Dufa. He has always vigorously denied the allegations, and the settlement was not an admission of guilt by the Duke. Earlier this year, it was reported that Andrew wanted to reclaim his HRH status, as well as his role as Colonel of the Grenadier Guards. According to a source, The Telegraph, his most coveted title was Colonelcy of the Grenadier Guards, and he wants it back. He believes that as a councillor of state, he should be invited to royal and state events. Most importantly, he believes that his status as an HRH and Prince of the Blood should be reinstated, and that his position should be recognised and respected.